a giant skeleton suddenly in pieces as vandals target a Halloween display in Cardiff. Outside Rick Kassar's home off Birmingham Drive. Cars drive by and slow down, and the whole neighborhood takes a lot of pride in coming by. You can find skeletons of all sorts hanging out. Kassar's wife has been slowly adding to the display for about six years. Last Tuesday, he woke up to this. You see it. What's your reaction? I just thought about my wife, all the effort she put into it, and I thought she's going to be heartbroken. This giant skeleton toppled over, its base bent. We rebuilt them, put them back up, uh, figured it was an isolated incident. Fast forward four days to late Saturday night. After returning home from an errand, he saw the same skeleton toppled again. The base is destroyed. A couple of ribs on the skeleton are broken. The hand is broken. Feet away near the front door, another giant skeleton was also on the ground and in pieces. It was pretty disheartening just to see a shattered skull laying on your front porch. That's when we felt violated and angry. Sar says neither skeleton is fixable. The total loss is more than $2,000, along with the absence of two towering pieces. I feel sadness. Of a spooky display right before Halloween. Kassar believes the vandals were teens after finding an Instagram post where a teen was claiming credit. Kassar, a counselor and career educator, hopes once the suspect is identified, criminal prosecutors Execution can be avoided. If they're willing to admit to it, we're willing to do community service together. Let's make it a teachable moment. Let's find gratitude. Let's find respect. Anyone with information on the case is asked to call the Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News.